Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. That is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas. And we will be using item number 10 off the 2016 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So equivalent fractions are kind of a difficult thing for third grade. We see we have point x on this number line right here, and point x is just sitting right there in the middle. And then we need to find a number line f, g, h, j, where point z has an equivalent fraction to the one represented by point x. So equivalent. First, let's make sure we see that inside that word equivalent, we have the letters for equal. So we're looking for an equal fraction. But none of the fractions are named. And this right here is not lined up with F, G, H, or J. If it was, you can just find the one that's in line. But right now, it's kind of in between this Z and H and this Z and J, but it doesn't go from the same starting point to the same ending point, so you can't really just look at it. So let's see if we can use another strategy to figure out which of these uh, number lines down here for uh, that represent Z have an equivalent or an equal fraction with X up at the top. First, let's name this fraction up here. So when we're naming a fraction, we need two numbers. We need the numerator, that's going to be our top number, and that is our denominator, that's going to be our bottom number. Now, the denominator is always going to be the total, so the total number of spaces. So for this right up here, I've got one space, two space. So we've got two spaces. The numerator is going to be how many ticks over from zero it is. So this x is on the very first tick over. So my fraction is 1 half or 1 over 2. And that makes sense because we've got half of the number line right there and then half of the number line right there. So let's see if we can do that for our, num our other options. And so we're looking at our spaces. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six spaces. And this is on the one, two, the second tick over from zero. So this is two sixths. Now look at G. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight total spaces. And this is on the first tick. Uh, for H, we've got one, two, three, four spaces. And this is on the one, two, the second tick, so two fourths. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces, and it's on the sixth tick. So we're not going to find anything that is exactly the same. But what we can do is we can try to draw pictures and see if we can find one of these fractions that is equal. Because that's what equivalent means. Which one of these fractions is equal to one half? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw some fractions. I know what one half looks like, so I'm going to make sure they're all kind of the same. And I'm going to use, uh, just I'm just going to shade in this left side. So that's my one half. So let's see what this two six looks like. So if I'm going to draw a circle, and I need to make six equal parts, I'm going to kind of do like this. And I've got one-sixth, two-sixths. No, it doesn't look like it's equal. If I had just one more six right there, I'd be good. Three-sixths looks like it would be about half of it right there. My one-eighth, I don't think my one-eighth is going to work because the numerators are the same and the denominators are different. One eighth is going to be very, very small. Yeah, that's way too tiny, so that's not going to work. Two fourths. Let me draw my two fourths here. So I've got one, f two halves. I've got one fourth, two fourths. Oh, that does look like it's going to be half. Let's check my six eighths just to make sense, just to make sure. Because I do have eighths. And I got one, two, three, four eighths looks like half. And 5 eighths, 6 eighths, too much. Nope, so my answer is going to be H, 2 fourths.